The Miracles of Jesus Christ by Margaret Lukasik When it was the right time, Jesus began his ministry on the earth so that he would fulfill the will of our Heavenly Father. After Jesus was baptized, he began to travel, preaching and teaching. He also performed many miracles. He didn't do this to be noticed or admired, but to fulfill the will of God. The more Jesus taught and performed miracles, the more people realized that he was truly the Son of God. Let's look at some of his miracles so that you can know him better and understand his love for all people. You'll better understand how he could sacrifice his life to save all mankind. The First Miracle of Jesus Christ The first miracle he performed was at a wedding. The hosts had run out of wine for their guests. Jesus was there and told them to fill six large stone jars with water and then give some to the man in charge of the feast. When the man tasted it, the water had turned into wine. He told the bridegroom, This wine is better than the first. You have saved the best for last. The feast continued and all were happy. Jesus heals the servant of a centurion. When Jesus was in the city of Capernaum, a centurion or army officer asked Jesus to heal his servant who was very ill. Jesus told the officer that he would go to his house. The officer said, Lord, I am not worthy to have you enter my house. I know that you can heal my servant from here. Jesus was pleased that this man had great faith. Faith is how we receive from God, so having great faith pleases him. Without taking another step, Jesus healed the servant immediately. It was a great miracle. A sick woman is healed. In a large crowd there was a woman who had been ill for 12 years. She had gone to see many doctors, but she only got worse. The woman had heard about Jesus, so she came up behind him in the crowd. She said to herself, if only I can touch his clothes, I will be well. She reached out and touched Jesus' robe. At that very moment, she felt well. At once, Jesus knew that power had gone out from him. The woman went before Jesus and knelt down before him. She told him her story, and Jesus said to her, you are now well because you believed in me. You will not have any more pain. Go in peace. Jesus heals a young girl. While Jesus was still speaking, someone came to break terrible news to a man named Jairus. Your daughter is dead, he said. Don't bother the teacher anymore. Hearing this, Jesus said to Jairus, Don't be afraid. Just believe and your daughter will be healed. Jesus went to the man's house where people were wailing and mourning. Stop wailing, Jesus said. She is not dead but asleep. The mourners laughed at Jesus, believing the girl was dead. Then Jesus took Peter, John, and James and the child's parents inside the house. Jesus took the girl by the hand and said, My child, get up. Her spirit returned and at once she stood up. Jesus heals a blind man. Once Jesus was walking in the city of Jericho, where a man named Bartimaeus called out to him, Jesus, have mercy upon me. When Jesus asked him what he wanted, Bartimaeus said, Teacher, I want to see again. Go on your way, Jesus told him. Your eyes are healed because of your faith. Bartimaeus could see at once. He went away happy and praising God. 
Jesus feeds a crowd of people. Once when Jesus was teaching a crowd of almost 5,000 people about the kingdom of God, it became late and the people were hungry. The disciples said to send the people away to get food, but Jesus said they should feed them. The disciples were confused because they only had five loaves of bread and two fish. Jesus told everyone to sit down on the ground. He took the five loaves of bread and two fish. Then he looked up to heaven and blessed the food. He broke it into pieces and told the disciples to pass around the food. Everyone ate until they were full. It was a great supper and an amazing miracle. Jesus walks on water. Soon after Jesus fed the 5,000 people, his disciples were crossing the Sea of Galilee in a boat. Suddenly they saw Jesus walking on water going toward them. Peter wanted to walk on water too. Jesus asked Peter to come to him. Peter began walking on the water, but he became afraid and started to sink. Jesus reached out and saved him. The disciples were amazed and said, Truly you are God's Son. This final miracle I've presented shows all Christians that we must keep our eyes on Jesus. When we look at the problems instead, we begin to sink or fall. But Jesus will always be there to help us if we have faith. Hello, this is Margaret Lukasik. I hope you've enjoyed these stories about the miracles of Jesus Christ taken from Scripture. Did you know that Jesus is still working miracles today? He said in John 14, 12 that whoever believes on Him, the works that He did when He was on the earth, we can do now. We are able in Jesus' name to do miracles that help others and glorify God. Please click on the link to continue this lesson. Image credit goes to Free Bible Images at freebibleimages.org.